Hello and welcome to this Dr Frost Maths key skill video on finding the square root of a number. Now in a previous video we looked at what the square of a number is. So if for example we wrote 3 squared, that means 3 times by itself and that would be equal to 9. So 3 with a little 2, that doesn't mean 3 times 2, it's not 6. 3 squared means 3 times by itself. And then we had 5 squared for example. That would be 5 times 5, and that would be 25. Now, the square root of a number is the opposite of squaring. So, if we take 5 and we square it, 5 squared, we said, was 25, then square rooting does the reverse process. It works out what the original number squared was to get that number. So the square root of 25 says what number squared would give you 25? Well, it's 5. So that answers the first question. The square root of 25 is 5, we saw, because 5 squared gives you that 25. What about the second one? The square root of 64, we need to think what number squared gives you 64. So if I draw that diagrammatically, what number, when you square it, gives you 64? What number times itself gives you 64? Well, 6 times 6 is 36. Um, so 6 squared is 36, that's too small. 7 squared is 7 times 7, which is 49, still too small, we want 64. 8 times 8, 8 squared is 64, that works. So 8 squared is 64, and then the answer is therefore Eight. So the square root of 64 is 8. And what about C? We need to think what number squared gives you 196. Now this one's a bit harder. Um, well, let's think. If we had 10 squared, that gives you 100. That's too small. We need 196. Uh, let's take a bigger number. Let's say we had 15 squared. 15 times 15 is 225, I just know that one in my head, which is too big, we want 196. So it's somewhere between 10 and 15. Well, if we try 14, 14 squared, you could always do this on the calculator, 14 squared gives you 196. And therefore, the square root of 196 is 14. Now, this is what the square root symbol is. Now, I've Described it in words here, the square root of in words, but you can also write it with mathematical notation. So that means the square root symbol, we want the square root of 36. So 2a, the square root of 36, well what number squared, what number times by itself gives you 36? Well it's 6. 6 times by itself, 6 times 6 is 36. And finally, the square root of 100, what number multiplied by itself gives you 100? Or 10 times 10. 10 times itself gives you 100, so the answer is 10. The square root of 100 is 10. A note, by the way, we can square root numbers which are not square numbers. So we could square root, for example, 17. It would be 4 point something. We might get a decimal. But if we square root a square number, we're always going to get a whole number. 